Hey everybody, Rob Dino here with another free play on Wager Talk TV. This time we're going to go to the NBA and look at Friday's contest, the rematch between the Phoenix Suns and the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas. But first, just want to make everybody aware of the Wager Talk special going on this week. It applies to football. Take $50 off an NFL or college football season pass using the coupon code FBALL50, all capital letters, FBALL50. You can receive $50 off either a college season pass through the college football championship game or an NFL season pass through the Super Bowl. That includes every game that's played from tonight all the way through the end of the postseason in either sport. Regular cost for college, 309 Knock it down to 259 Get yourself every play. It includes all 5% blue chips that I would release once again. Week special from the Wager Talk people here. $50 off an NFL or college football season pass code FBALL50. Let's go ahead and get to the NBA here. Phoenix at Dallas. Game opens Dallas minus 2.5 and 229. Currently, the game sits at Dallas minus 2. Little money toward the Phoenix Suns. And a total of 232.5 pushed up 3.5 points. Two of the best Field goal percentage defenses in the NBA here. Both of these rank inside the top five. Phoenix number three in field goal percentage defense at 43.4% allowed. Dallas number four at 43.8% allowed. The difference, although it's a small sample size, we're still early in the season, but it can be found in the home and away numbers where Phoenix is concerned here. Phoenix drops all the way down to number 24 in this category of field per, field goal percentage allowed when they're on the road. It's only been a couple of games, but they have allowed 48.8% on the road. That's minus 5.4. So maybe a little advantage toward the Mavs here. The Mavs at home have been pretty tough defensively, only allowing 42.6. That's good for third best in the NBA. Rest advantage. Um, maybe a slight one here to Phoenix. We'll just go through the particulars. Each had yesterday off, so nobody's playing back the backs here. Phoenix makes a short trip to Dallas. It's an interesting one game road trip for Phoenix. They leave here and go right back home. Um, the Mavericks, they're in the final of a five game homestand. They're two and two on this homestand. So obviously motivation to finish off this homestand with a winning record in three and two. You can put that in the Mavs advantage category. Dallas is, however, playing their fourth game in six nights. Uh, could be a little bit of a fatigue issue there. Not so sure this early in the season that it will be. The situation here, the Mavs are in a payback spot. They went to Phoenix. They got beat 114-102 to 102 a couple weeks ago. Phoenix absolutely crushed Dallas in fast break points in that game. 18-4 to four was the advantage for the Suns. And they beat them pretty bad in bench scoring, 23-9 to nine toward Phoenix in that game. Dallas had their backup center, Derek Lively, in that game. He contributed 11 rebounds. They won't have him tonight. He's out. They also had reserve power forward, Maxi Cleaver. He won't be out. Uh, he will be out tonight, so they don't have him. That's two important bigs off the bench that Dallas will be without tonight. The Mavericks that night in Phoenix shot a subpar 39.8%. Shooting wasn't good, although we did get plenty of points out of Kyrie Irving. Um, Luka Doncic and Klay Thompson. That trio did most of the scoring on that night. The Suns may get Bradley Beal back for this one. He and Grayson Allen did not play in that initial meeting. They will be without their starting forward, Ryan Dunn. Um, let's look at some of the ATS numbers, uh, some of the totals numbers here. Phoenix is 5-3 and three under the posted total here of 232.5, and, and they're 2-1 and one to the under on the road. And it includes a 229 game that they played in overtime at the Clippers. So they couldn't get over 232 and a half, even in overtime on the road against the Clippers. Dallas at home, a very strong five and one to the under. The only over they played at home this year was against the high octane Indiana Pacers who push, push, push. Phoenix doesn't necessarily play that way. Overall, Dallas is six and two against this number of 232 and a half to the under um, neither team is particularly fast in pace. Dallas ranks 14th. Phoenix ranks 20th in pace in the NBA. So it's a little bit more methodical than track meet style. And I would expect here that head coach Jason Kidd 
emphasizes transition defense after getting beat so bad on fast break points the first time around. I think this number is a little bit too high. I'm going to go contrarian here and play this game under 232 and a half. That'll be your free play for the NBA for today. Phoenix at Dallas under 232 and a half. On the way out, I'd like to thank everybody to hit the like button. If you like what you see here, the analysis, the selections provided by Wager Talk Handicappers, go ahead and hit that like button. Drop a comment in the comments section. If you have an opinion on this game or any other NBA game, I try to get to the comments as quickly as I can. Click subscribe. Join the 184,000 people that have already subscribed to Wager Talk TV. Like to say good luck to everybody on all your plays. See you next time right here on Wager Talk TV.